in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to simplify cube roots. Now, looking at this first example, it says the cube root of 56. We're going to follow the same rules similar to what I did in the other videos when I was simplifying radicals. But since this is a cube root, instead of for every pair, you take one out. Now, you're going to look for three of the same thing in order to take one of them out. All right, let's break down 56. I'm going to do 7 times 8, and then go ahead and cross out 56. 56 is already broken down. Now, 7 is a prime number because the only thing that multiplies to give me 7 is 7 times 1. So I'm going to break down my 8 to be 4 times 2. Cross that out, cross out the 8. My 4 is going to be 2 times 2. Cross out my 4. All right, so now I broke it down to all my prime numbers, which is 7, 2, 2, and 2. The question is, do I have three of the same thing? Yep, I do. I have three twos. Since I have three of them, I can take one of them out. Now that they're all gone, do I have three of the same number anywhere else? No, but I do have a leftover, which is the seven. So that's going to stay under my cube root. And whatever number I take out will go in front. All right, let's look at one more example. 125. Well, we know if we break down 125, that's going to be 25 times 5. Go ahead and cross out my 125. And we know five, 25 is 5 times 5. Go ahead and cross out my 25. Once again, the question is, do I have three of the same thing so I can take one of them out? I do. I have three fives. So I take one of them out in front. Do I have any leftovers after I take one of them out? Nope. So that means 125 was a perfect cube. So therefore, my answer will just be 5. I will not write the cube root in my final answer simply because I don't have any more leftovers. And that's it.